Dude, you didn't have to wait. I told you I'd meet you inside. I know. I didn't want to go in alone. Spaghetti? What kind of breakfast is that? It's dinner. But your clock on the wall said it was 9 a.m. There's no clock on the wall. <laughs> sure there is, the one that's melted. That's a Salvador Dali painting, you moron. Then what was the ringing noise we heard? I don't know. The telephone? Then how come when I tried to answer it, all I heard was ticking? Because that was the clock. But you just said the clock was a painting. Mmm, <laughs> spaghetti! My daddy calls it eating string. <laughs> this place is awesome. I can't believe all this food is free. No doubt. It's like we're in prison or something. Oh, I don't think there's any place to sit. Sure there is. We can sit right there. But we don't even know those guys. This is how you make friends, Dell. Watch and learn. <clears throat> What's up, dudes? You guys go to college, too? We go to barter. We all go to barter. Sweet. I'm Sanford. The lady from our high school said we'd fit in at this college. Then she got arrested for dating a fifth grader. Did she go to jail? Uh, there was a trial. <laughs> and, uh... Uh, he tells it better. I don't know if she went to jail, but it would be cool to be that little kid. Oh. Aren't you concerned about hardened arteries? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have the hardest damn arteries. They're gonna kick ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Unbelievable. Hey, I just heard a funny joke. What's the capital of Thailand? Do you mind if I... Bangkok! That's a classic. Dude, you walked right into that one. Nice meeting you, dudes. Wow. You're like Mr. Popular or something. Ah, oh, my spaghetti's dirty. Toward the end of the Cold War, Gorbachev had implemented his policies of perestroika and glasnost, which marked a period of openness between the two superpowers. Sweet. Now, who can tell me what led to the breakup of the Soviet Union? Rebecca? Socialism could no longer sustain itself in the face of global market forces. Yes, that's one of the reasons. Anyone else? <laughs> Sanford. Uh, what was the question? Can you tell us why the Soviet Union broke up? Um, their drummer died? <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Einstein. You know the amazing part? I was just guessing. Man, am I hungry. At least you get to the cafeteria before they run out of bread again. My hands are still blistered from that grilled cheese. I can't go, dude. I got switched to a new phys ed class. Hit one crybaby with a folding chair and suddenly I'm the guy who doesn't know how to wrestle. But then... Who am I going to go to lunch with? I don't know. I had to bring this beef jerky to tide me over. Aw, oh, what a rip-off! That guy sold me a pencil! Well, wouldn't be the first time I ate a number two. The last time I won a dollar. Come on, Dell. Be brave. What's the worst that could happen? Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Special Ed Phys Ed. Wait a second. This is Special Ed? Um, Professor? Larry's bag came off again. <laughs> I'm gonna kick so much ass here, it's sick. Um, Joe? You wanna go to the cafeteria with me? Hmm, interesting. No one's ever asked me that before. But no. I'll be transferring out of here soon, so although it was nice of you to ask, any social gesture on my part would be pointless. What was the question? Dude, I'm open! Pass it here! Foul! Oh, 
thanks for letting me eat here, Todd. Sure. I used to be afraid of the cafeteria, too. I didn't have any friends when I was a freshman, but now that I'm an RA, I have 40 friends. Actually, if you count my figurines, it's more like 56. Then there's my Star Wars pillowcase. Oh, 62. I didn't used to count Darth Vader, but then in the third movie... Oh, and there's the creak in the door, which is kind of like an old friend. I call it Dorson's Creek. Come on, Del. Be outgoing. Be like Sanford. Is this seat open? Sure thing, buddy. <sighs> the whole table's open. We were just leaving. What? Is someone sitting here? No, I have... Great. We need these two chairs. Oh, this is a disaster. Hiya, stranger! Mind if we join you? No, I, I mean, yes. Um, sure. Do you guys go to college, too? Of course we do, silly bones. Hey, aren't you the one who's always hanging around that other guy? You know, the big guy? Oh, yeah, that's Sanford. Everyone knows Sanford. He's like Mr. Popular. That guy's a douchebag. What? Yeah, he is. I don't like to use that word, but he is a douchebag. Yeah, he is. Totally douchebag. He's a douchebag. Oh. Ooh, I didn't see they had tacos. Del, check it out! Crippled Steve left his wheelchair outside the showers. He probably needs that. Hey, look at me! I'm a quadruplet! <laughs> What's wrong with you? This is hilarious! This is even better than the last time I stole a wheelchair. I guess so. Hey, Dell, What's going on? I'm just watching Sanford roll up and down the hallway. What are you doing? I'm headed over to the student newspaper. We're starting layout tonight. Want to come? Get out of my parking spot, you bastards! Mm, okay. Hey, where are you guys going? Wait up! Oh, my God! Sanford's a paralegal! Oh, we have a visitor. Welcome, welcome. Well, I'm Dell. You probably don't remember me. We ate lunch together a few hours ago. <laughs> of course we remember you, Goofy Gus. I can't believe you guys put together a whole newspaper. How do you come up with all those ideas? It's a team effort. Right now we're helping Barry come up with a headline about death on campus. Death on campus? What did you say? Uh... Death on campus, I was just... Oh my god, that's brilliant. Death on campus. That one had Barry stumped for days. I was not stumped. Don't tell him I was stumped. Wow, you're good. He can't come up with headlines. Maybe after he's worked on the school newspaper for three years, or won a student Pulitzer for his daring expose on library hours. Oh, Barry, take a chill pill. We have a library? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that sounds satirical. It's a wry commentary on how the library is almost never open. Great job, Delzer. Oh my god, I just called him Delzer. That's so funny. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Who's Delzer? That's like the coolest nickname. I had a nickname once in high school. They called me Pillow Butt. That's so you! I know. Hey, who was that president with the beard and the top hat? Abraham Lincoln. No, this guy gave a really important speech about slavery or something. It's Lincoln, you moron. Lincoln delivered the Gettysburg Address. You're thinking of someone else. The guy I'm talking about was involved in a big war. The Civil War. How stupid Uncle can you... Uncle Sam? That's it! Uncle Sam! Thanks, man. No problem. I'm kind of a history buff. All right, that's enough education for one day. Let's go eat. I can't. My new friends invited me to go see a feminist comedian. You what? Why don't you come with us? You're always saying we should try new things, go on adventures, drive around in a van and solve mysteries. That's different. Those are all my ideas. This is your idea, and that sounds pretty selfish to me. You go ahead, though. Maybe I'll meet you there. Abraham Lincoln, does this refresh your memory? Dude, are you trying to bribe me? Because I can't be bought. <sighs> all right. What do I have to eat? I don't know. I think you guys would like Sanford. Hmm. Maybe we were thinking of a different person. This guy was gross. And weird looking. No, that sounds like him. But he's a good guy. We met in high school. We used to get beat up together by the same gang. In high school, I was on the yearbook staff. Well, that was the gang. Shh! 
You guys are making too much racket. Can't hear my book on tape. Now I have to rewind. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Where's that voice coming from? <laughs> oh, Delzer. And for extra credit, I want you to translate this ancient Greek treatise on human anatomy into Latin. Sweet. Somebody congratulate me. I just gave birth to a six pound, four ounce baby boy. Don't you want to know what I named him? No. Brownie. Brownie von Turdmeister III. And he's got his father's hair. That's almost as funny as yesterday's Brownie von Turdmeister II. Yeah, but this is funny for different reasons. Dell would have thought it was funny. Yeah, well, Dell's an imbecile. Nah, it was probably just over your head. I'm bored. Oh my god. Is Joe wearing a dress in that picture? Oh, this is too good to keep to myself. Del! Ah, oh, crap! Hey, Todd! Check out this picture of Joe in a dress! Oh, I get it. Todd was born with both male and female reproductive organs. Ha <laughs> ha! You know how on airplanes they give you that little bag of peanuts? What I can't figure out is how come men are Neanderthals who have been oppressing women since the dawn of time? Wow, he's great. <laughs> Look at this guy in the front row. He's like, not me, not me. <laughs> this guy's got rapists written all over him. <laughs> you don't got me good. Of course, I was asking for it. Sitting in the front row. <laughs> oh, my God. <gasps> what kind of monster would wear such a horrible garment? Hey, dude, I made it. You've worn the same shirt every day for as long as I've known you. Why'd you have to change into that one tonight? No problem. If you don't like it, I'll take it off. <gasps> oh, oh, how insensitive! Sanford, this is not cool. And it's not even true. There are fat girls. Look at Becky. You tell him, Delzer! Fine. If it means that much to you, I'll take this one off too. <gasps> Put that offensive shirt back on! Let's get out of here. This is the last feminist comedy night I invite you to. Barry, wait up! Oh yeah? Well, maybe this is the last feminist comedy night you ever invite me to! Swish! I'll find some new friends too! Those are fake. Oh, this is stupid. Where do people go to find new friends? The dorm? Hmm. There's usually some dudes in the shower. Maybe I'll start hanging out there. Hey, dudes. Dude, your leg is awesome. Can you guys take me to the hospital? I think I need some medicine. Oh, man, we were kind of on our way to a movie at the drive-in. Is Wesley Stripes in it? No. Arnold Schwarzkopf? Look, guy, we gotta get going if we're gonna snag that parking spot by the women's bathroom. Can I come with you guys? You got any money? Well, I have the shirt. Oh, that's clever. It really says something, you know? Something about fat girls. All right, come on. We'll sneak you in the trunk. Thanks. I'm Sam. Hey, a road flare. Cool. Oh, no, that's not good. Ow. Ow. Whew, a fire extinguisher. Uh-oh. Dudes, tell me when I need to be quiet. Until then, I'm gonna work on my rap. <laughs> Sanford in the trizong, boy! Dude, this dude is all like, dude. Say no more. <laughs> Are we there yet? Hey, Becky. Thanks for tutoring me this past week. It's really paid off. One professor actually handed back my quiz instead of throwing it at my head. My pleasure, Dell. I think you'll find that success breeds success. Hmm. My uncle breeds rabbits. Hey, who's that guy in the dress? That's the dean, you pud. The Dells are called it a dress. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie, I just baked an ear muffin. Del Swanson, you are outrageous with a capital O. And there's nothing I like more than a big O. <laughs> well, then you must love that Hollywood sign. I prefer the Washington Monument. <laughs> well, I've seen it. 
Looks nothing like him. <laughs> <laughs> He's not funny. Why are you guys laughing? That's stupid. Oh, Barry, go lay an egg. Hey, Barry, what's the capital of Thailand? Hey, guys, grab me a Zagnut or some bonbons. You should have seen me just now in the cafeteria. I walked right up to the most crowded table and sat down. Not interested. I just wish Sanford were here to see how well I'm doing when he's not here. Ah, uh, when is this movie gonna start? You haven't had any food in days. Here, eat this. It's not an oily rag. It's a piece of lasagna. Don't do it, boyo. It's a trick. He got you to eat the tire and we all know how that ended. Shut it, leprechaun. Sweet. The bathroom is for customers only. Well, don't worry, son. A lot of people lead normal lives with only one testicle. How'd this happen, anyway? Well, someone asked me what the capital of Thailand was, and I said Bangkok. Oh! Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Oh, that's a classic. So I, uh, well, I guess we better have a look at that. Hope you're hungry for popcorn! I busted out the movie theater style. Remember when you had to go all the way to the movie theater to get movie theater style popcorn? It's almost like we're living in the future, or in a movie theater. Becky is so awesome. She's really great, don't you think? I guess. She has such a good sense of humor. She's smart and reasonably attractive. Becky's awesome. Don't you think Becky's awesome? Are you still talking? Oh my god, I forgot my student ID at the library. I better go get it. You can start the movie without me. I don't know how to say this, but... I think Janice likes you. Oh, Del Swanson, can't you ever be serious? I need your help with a headline, Mr. Wordsmith. The story's about a girl. She falls in love with this super guy. But she isn't sure if he feels the same way about her. Does this story have any nudity in it? She wants to tell this guy how she feels, but she's afraid. So tell me, does the story have a happy ending? Write me a headline, Del Swanson. I'll write you a headline, Del Swanson. Uniballer kills campus wit. Barry? I don't get it. What's a uniballer? That's me. I had to have one of my testicles removed because of your stupid Bangkok joke. First you steal my headlines, then my testicle, and then my girl. <laughs> I can't believe I have two men fighting over me. Well... Actually, one and a half. <gasps> I guess I lost my gift. I had a hell of a run. Barry, is this true what you say? Yes. I love you. I've always loved you. No, silly bones. I mean about your gonad. Gal. Gal. Sanford? Dude. Help me open the trunk! Man, am I glad to see you. Yeah, I'm glad to see you too. And your coke. Give me that. What are you doing in there? We're sneaking into a drive-in movie. Want to come with us? Sure. You're not going to believe what I've been through lately. Some chick tried to kiss me. Dude, you scored? Without me? Not really. Well, I guess so. Mm, sort of. That's awesome! You're the first one of us to score in college! You're like, Mr. Popular. <laughs> yeah, I'm Mr. Popular.